phone here. I've been having some issues with it. So currently, I was considering returning it. I probably will return it right now. I'm doing a, there's a software update. We're going to see if that fixes anything. Now the issue I have is I have T-Mobile service. The Razer phone is supported by T-Mobile in theory. I also have the Note 9 uh, will receive, uh, which is an official T-Mobile phone. It's an actual T-Mobile phone. This is my wife's iPhone, and I'm recording this on my S10 Plus, and I also have a OnePlus 6T. I just returned my LG V20 finally. So pretty much every phone I have is a T-Mobile phone except for this one. The problem I frequently have with non-T-Mobile phones is they don't fully support both the or Wi-Fi calling. So I'm a business traveler, uh, that's why the Note is probably one of the best phones for me. The S10 is pretty great too, I just like the physical size of the Note. One thing that happens a lot is I travel a lot on airplanes. So let's simulate that. Put my phone into airplane mode. Uh, I really like the size of the Razer phone. Alright, so now we're in airplane mode as you can tell from the little airplane guy, right? So while it's in airplane mode, I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi. All right, so as you can see, it's in airplane mode right here, but it's also connected to Wi-Fi. So part of being a cool thing T-Mobile does is when you're a T-Mobile customer, uh, I, I travel on American Airlines, they usually have free Wi-Fi service. So now, while it's on airplane mode in Wi-Fi, I should be able to text my wife, which is her phone right here. So we gotta blur her name, but let's just put hi. I'm going to send that, and my light is blaring on there, but it should come up on my wife's phone. Yeah. So there, she has a text message for me. Let me go ahead and open that. So there you can see the high message at 348, 348 here. All right, and we'll do it again. All right, so it's very clearly in airplane mode and on Wi-Fi. All right, so let's put this up for now. Let me take it out of airplane mode. So that's how we know Wi-Fi calling works. I mean, I guess if you wanted to make a phone call. All right, so there it is calling her again, right? So clearly I'm on Wi-Fi airplane mode. I can still call. I can still text. Put that over there. The issue I had with the Razer phone, this update's taking a while, but I took a screenshot. All right, so this is a screenshot. It's not an active phone call, it's a screenshot. All right, so there's the, it was on whatever day it was, but so this was a phone call I received. You can see it's on H+, uh, which leads me to believe it was dropping off of LTE when on a phone call meaning Bolty was not working. This update is taking forever to apply. Audio fixes and improvement, I don't know what that would mean. Uh, if uh, you watched one of my videos, the size video, I did use a little recording with this one using the same uh, HyperX headset that I'm recording with now. This is the cord that's plugged into my S10 and the audio quality took a big dip when using the Razer phone too. Uh, so, We'll see if either of these are fixed. The camera's not as good as the Note 9. I like the big wide screen. A lot of people won't like that probably. If you're a smaller hand and you like these newer, thinner phones, narrower phones. For me, this wide boy was where it was at. And I like the big front speakers. Although, I think my Note's probably just as loud. It's not a huge difference I wouldn't think between volumes. I need to restart. Now we're restarting it. Uh, Razer has one of the coolest restart animations. I've seen, uh, and the fingerprint button on the side is one of my favorites as well. Now that we've restarted, I'm going to turn it off again. I'm going to take my SIM out of my Note 9. All right, I'm just going to let the update fully finish. I'm going to use my Razer SIM card tool. All right, so let's update the latest build. I'm going to take the SIM card out of my Note 9. So let's just double check that there's no more updates. Interesting, still in the February 5th security patch. I'm going to power them off. Take off my Razer thin case from actual form Razer. I like it, it's fingerprinty, but it's small enough to add just a slight bit of protection. 
All right, so now we're gonna use that guy. All right, so now I'll put the SIM card in. We're gonna turn the razor back on. All right, so it should be fully updated now with the SIM card. Let's just take a test real quick. Let's just see if there's any updates. All right, so let's do a speed test. Currently, Razer is on Wi-Fi. So let's just do a little speed test there. So I'm getting pretty killer speeds on my Wi-Fi here. I'm only about 15 feet from my Wi-Fi router. But that's pretty solid. So we like that. All right. So now, let's just be sure, let's turn Wi-Fi is off, Wi-Fi is off, and let's go right back, and we'll do another speed test, this is strictly T-Mobile LTE, should be around 40 or 50, download speed. So you can see where it says LTE plus up here, so again, solid speeds, that's about what I expect. From my area, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, so we're like that. There's no problems there. <laughs> I got this stupid iPhone upside down. Put it there. And just so we for sure, uh, on LTE, I'm going to send a message to my wife. Just going to say, hi, RP2. Raise your phone too. Get it? There it is. All right, so you can see that one. Let's just send the one back just to make sure we know the Razer phone is working. All right, and just to be double sure, let's do a phone call. All right, so that's working. I want to decline and hang up on both. Now we know T-Mobile service works perfectly fine. Standard, just basic service works with the Razer Phone 2. So now we're gonna look at Wi-Fi calling. Wi-Fi calling is on right there. So we can see Wi-Fi calling is on. So let's just recreate the same scenario. I'm gonna turn this on to airplane mode. So here you can see the airplane mode is on. So now we're gonna turn Wi-Fi on. So we're connected to Wi-Fi. So as we can see here, we're on Wi-Fi and airplane mode. Just to double check, we'll do another speed test. So, so these are strong Wi-Fi speeds. That's one thing I really like about this phone. For one, it's a great physical size for me. Two, it has a great Wi-Fi antenna. I consistently get solid speeds on this guy, and even the LTE, I get solid. The antennas are strong. Now, let me try to send a text message. Uh, I'm going to send, so we're going to say uh, airplane mode. All right, well, that worked. <laughs> so, that does work. I was on an airplane that did not work. Uh, However, maybe that update just fixed it. I should have tested this before I sent the update. That wasn't very smart of me. That's positive. We want that to work. Let's turn airplane mode off. Let's turn Wi-Fi calling off. So now we're on LTE only. And we're going to make a phone call. And we'll see if that dips down to H+. All right. She answered. Let's go on the internet. All right, so this update cl clearly, as far as I can tell, seems to have repaired it because we're still seem to be on LTE. I'm on the phone right now. We can see this call is still going, still showing me. Let's see if we can do a speed test while we're on the phone. Yeah, 
I mean, as far as I can tell, this update seems to fix all the complaints I had with the Razer Phone 2. Okay, so this is fascinating. I was prepared to make a video complaining about the Razer Phone 2, and here it is. It got a software update. It fixed all the concerns I had. Uh, so now, I will solidly recommend the Razer Phone 2. I still think I'm probably going to more often use my Note 9, uh, even more so than this uh, S10 Plus that I'm recording this on. But... Uh, I clearly get full, I mean, we're still on this call. Let's go ahead and see if I can watch a YouTube video. That's interesting. I note, I have this Razer phone. So that's my video. And I plan on testing it. Oh, my call died, though. To see if the razor so now I'm on the phone yep so this call is still on and this is still playing let's just change to a different video one I just uploaded today. All right. So here I am on a phone call here. I'm blurring it out, of course, but this is a phone call. And it's still on LTE+. Plus. And uh, obviously the video is playing. If I click it, it takes me back to the call. We're still on the call. We still have HD calling. So I will say this latest software update fixed all my complaints with the Razer Phone 2. Uh, I mean, the camera is still not going to be as good as a Samsung. All right, let me end this call. New one. I like TyperX so much. I figured you can have a pair. So we got these cloud stingers for like 50 bucks. What a great video. All right. So, and like I said, we're still getting stellar. We got 38 last time. Yeah, I mean, we're still getting solid. Uh speeds out of the Razer Phone 2. No problems there. No complaints. So yeah, I had a Twitter message with the guy where I was saying we had some problems, but clearly they've been resolved with this latest software update. Uh, kudos to Razer Phone 2. Hopefully they make it 3. Uh, I saw, you know, there's a bunch of articles about them having some troubles, but Pretty solid phone overall at this point. I mean, that was my only complaint, really. I mean, the camera's not as good, but we expect that for $500. The initial price of $800 was kind of insane. Over $500. Bucks. I'd say it's a solid buy at this point, especially for T-Mobile, now that they fixed those two issues I had an issue with. All right, thanks for checking me out.